sits in the annals of ancient Egypt, amidst the grandeur of monumental constructions and the cryptic allure of hieroglyphics, rose a pharaoh whose reign epitomized the complexity of his times. Apris, known to his people as Wahibre Haibre, ascended the throne in February 589 BC, inheriting the legacy of his father, Samtik II. His birth name, Wahibre, constant is the heart of Re and his throne name, Ha-Ibri, jubilant is the heart of Re forever, foreshadowed a reign both celebrated and beset by challenges. During Apris's rule, Egypt was a crucible of political intrigues and military campaigns. The pharaoh's military exploits were marked notably by his involvement in the geopolitical tumult of the Near East, notably his attempt to intervene in the Kingdom of Judah during the Babylonian Siege of Jerusalem. This military venture, emblematic of Egypt's waning influence, ultimately culminated in failure, a pivotal point that tested his leadership. Despite these military setbacks, Apri's reign was also a period of substantial architectural and cultural development. He continued the building projects initiated by his predecessors, enhancing the sacred landscapes of Sais, Memphis and Thebes. The temples adorned during his reign not only served religious functions but also acted as centers of economic and political activity, reinforcing the pharaoh's divine and temporal authority. The decline of Apris's power came after his ill-fated support of Judah against Babylon, leading to civil strife within Egypt itself. His defeat by the general Amasis, who was proclaimed pharaoh by the disgruntled soldiers, marked the end of his rule. Yet the transfer of power also exemplifies the enduring resilience of the Egyptian state, capable of rebirth and renewal amidst internal and external adversities. Reflecting upon the reign of Apris, one observes a narrative of a ruler whose aspirations for greatness were both aided and hindered by the era's demanding circumstances. His story is a testament to the impermanence of power and the relentless pursuit of stability and prosperity by the rulers of ancient Egypt. Through his story, we glean the wisdom that leadership is both a privilege and a profound responsibility, demanding not just the allegiance to one's ideals, but also the flexibility to adapt to the changing tides of history. This narrative, steeped in the richness of Egypt's storied past, encourages us to ponder the lessons of history, recognizing that the challenges and aspirations of the past mirror our own, continuously shaping our understanding of leadership and governance. Apris's reign, though marked by significant challenges, also highlights the enduring cultural and religious contributions that defined Egypt's late period. The extensive building programs not only glorified the gods but also solidified the socio-economic foundations of local communities. By investing in religious infrastructure, Apris intertwined the divine favor with the prosperity of his reign, a strategy that ancient Egyptian rulers frequently employed to legitimize their rule and instill a sense of continuity and stability among their subjects. Moreover, Apris's era was a time when Egypt's artistic expression flourished. Artisans and craftsmen found patronage under his rule, leading to innovations in sculpture and relief work that would influence subsequent periods. These artistic endeavors were not mere embellishments but were integral to the religious and cultural narratives that defined Egyptian identity, serving as a medium through which the divine and the mortal realms could interact. The complex network of alliances and enmities that characterized Apris's foreign policy also reflects a broader narrative of Egypt's interaction with neighboring civilizations. His military undertakings, albeit fraught with setbacks, demonstrate Egypt's persistent influence and ambitions in the regional politics of the Near East. Even in decline, Egypt endeavored to assert its sovereignty and protect its interests against emerging powers like Babylon. The fall of Apris and the ascension of Amasis, while a dramatic shift, also underscored the resilience and adaptability of Egyptian society. Amasis would go on to stabilize the nation and lead it through a period of economic prosperity, showing that the end of one era can herald the beginning of another. This transition from Apris to Amasis offers a poignant reminder of the cyclic nature of history, where endings are precursors to new beginnings. Reflecting on the era of Apris, we are reminded of the dualities that define leadership and legacy. 
His story teaches us the importance of resilience in the face of adversity and the wisdom to recognize when old ways must give way to new approaches. It compels us to appreciate the complexities of human endeavor in navigating the currents of time and fate. In embracing the lessons from Apris's rule, we gain a deeper understanding of our own journeys through the labyrinth of history, realizing that each challenge we face is but a reflection of those confronted by those who walked the earth before us. Thus, in studying the past, we not only explore the realms of ancient kings, but also discover the enduring truths about human nature and the perpetual quest for meaning and mastery over our circumstances. As the sands of time continued to shift, the legacy of Apris, though marred by military missteps and eventual overthrow, also encapsulated the rich tapestry of cultural achievements and administrative acumen. His reign, a poignant chapter in the extensive annals of Egyptian history, serves as a bridge between past glories and future aspirations. In the realm of governance, Apris demonstrated significant administrative skills that helped maintain the stability of Egypt's vast and diverse territories. His approach to administration while centralizing power also allowed for local governance structures to flourish under the oversight of royal appointees. This system not only ensured loyalty to the throne, but also catered to the local needs, fostering a sense of unity within diversity. Culturally, Apris's reign was a testament to Egypt's enduring allure and mystical prestige. The festivals and religious ceremonies that he patronized not only reinforced the social order but also acted as a conduit for the expression of communal harmony and spiritual fervor. These events, rich in ritual and splendor, helped knit the fabric of Egyptian society tighter together, embedding a collective identity that could withstand the pressures of both internal discord and external threats. Moreover, the intellectual endeavors during his time contributed to the corpus of Egyptian knowledge and wisdom. Scholars and scribes under Apri's patronage engaged in the meticulous work of recording history, developing medical practices and advancing architectural techniques. Their works would echo through the corridors of time, influencing not only subsequent Egyptian generations, but also the broader Mediterranean and Near Eastern cultures. The spiritual landscape of Egypt under Apris also witnessed profound expressions of faith. The construction and enhancement of temples during his reign were not merely acts of devotion, but also statements of political theology, portraying the pharaoh as the earthly embodiment of divine will. Through these sacred spaces, Apris communicated his divine right to rule and his role as the protector of the realm's cosmic order. As we delve deeper into the essence of Apris' rule, we uncover a narrative rich with lessons on the interplay between power and piety, governance and culture, adversity and resilience. His reign offers a reflective mirror into our own times, challenging us to consider how our actions and decisions resonate within the wider web of history. The story of Apris, with its highs and lows, its triumphs and trials, encourages us to persevere in our endeavors, to seek wisdom in our decisions, and to embrace the cyclical nature of life and leadership. It invites us to acknowledge our part in the continuous march of human history, where each step is both a legacy inherited and a legacy bestowed. Through the contemplation of Apris's time on the throne, we gain not only insights into the past, but also the inspiration to craft our futures with thoughtful deliberation and renewed vigor, ever mindful of the lessons that history so generously offers. In the broader canvas of Egyptian history, the story of Apris, like a finely woven tapestry, interlaces threads of ambition, caution and transcendence. His reign, a pivotal era, stands as a beacon that illuminates the complexities of maintaining and expanding a civilization's grandeur in the face of evolving challenges. As Apris navigated the tumultuous waters of his reign, he also contributed to the deepening of Egypt's diplomatic engagements. His foreign policies, though sometimes faltering, attempted to forge alliances that would bolster Egypt's strategic interests against rising powers. These efforts highlight a keen awareness of the changing dynamics of power in the ancient world, reflecting a foresight that is as crucial today as it was then, 
a reminder of the importance of understanding and adapting to the global landscape. Economically, Apris's reign saw the continuation of Egypt's extensive trade networks that reached across the Mediterranean, into Africa and beyond. These trade routes not only brought wealth but also cultural exchanges that enriched Egyptian society. The influx of foreign ideas, goods and styles under his rule helped cultivate a cosmopolitan ethos that would define Egypt's cultural narrative for generations. This aspect of his governance underscores the value of openness and exchange in fostering a thriving economy and a vibrant culture, a lesson pertinent to the modern ethos of globalization. The religious undertakings of Apries also had significant implications for his political life. By endorsing and enhancing the cults of major deities, he not only secured the support of the priesthood, but also reinforced the sacral legitimacy of his reign. This strategic intertwining of religion and politics serves as a study in the use of spiritual authority to underpin secular power, a strategy that resonates in various forms throughout history. In reflection, the era of Apries, with its intricate blend of cultural flourishing, political trials and economic endeavors, offers a profound case study in the art of statecraft. His story is imbued with the perennial themes of leadership, the balance of power and grace, the fusion of tradition and innovation, and the enduring quest for legacy. Concluding, the reign of Apries teaches us the invaluable lesson of resilience in the face of adversity and the importance of visionary leadership. His life encourages us to see beyond immediate challenges and to envision the broader scope of our impact. It reminds us that our choices echo through the ages, shaping not only our destinies but also those of the societies we are part of. Kindly click like, subscribe and share this channel.